that's the same spot basically it's a little bit off yeah monoclinic CEO can come out in the uh, little bit off different area but um, I'm satisfied with this <clears throat> actually you can go here on this one um, you can actually um, deselect these peaks that are already matched and then do the search so if I want to look for the uh, peak for um, this here to ma match this area only I could have uh, uh, taken this off and then I get this peak, peak then you can take that off, that off, this off, these two. But um, I, I think I'm pretty happy with this, what we have, because we're supposed to have copper, nanoparticle, and then on the surface, we probably have uh, um, CuO and Cu2O. In fact, uh, intensity is opposite. We had a higher CuO for... Um, uh, XPS and we didn't have any um, Cu2O um, but since uh, XRD is a um, bug technique and uh, um, this is what we would expect okay so I'm gonna close this so here they'll tell you the uh, PDF pattern number so we had a copper Cu2O, which is indicated blue bar, and uh, green bar is CuO, right? And then we may um, print this out, or we can save it. Okay, I'm gonna just save it. Save as I already have um, Cu already one, so I'm gonna call it. Um, Today is 10.22. Okay. So this is the data file <clears throat> for them, uh, for the, um, um, yeah, for this uh, diffract.eva TV. So now I'm going to actually export um, background subtractive scan. So here you can do the raw file which can be read with many XRD programs, but I'm gonna do this XY file. This is actually a text file. Um, XY subtracted, again, that's 10, 21, 2020. Okay, and then later we trans, uh, change the name from .xy to .txt, right? And, uh, um, so I'm going to save this again. The reason I'm exporting to um, .xy is to plot it usually using uh, um, other program programming routines um, like Excel. I don't use Excel, but um, it can be read with Excel. So let's save that again. And then I'm going to save this, save as one more name. Um, a. The reason is, if I try to print this out, you can print this out on the PDF. And it try to print this, and then in the second page you get spectra, spectrum. And I don't want this frame. So, um, so what I do is come over here, and uh, um, we'll delete it. Right click, delete. So the uh, frames, 2D frames, which is actually real heavy, um, is deleted. Only the line scan is left. So now if I try to print this by clicking on that. So now what I have is only the um, spectra. It got rid of those fancy color images and then you can tell these uh, PDF file names numbers okay and then print and um, 
I'm going to call this um, CUNAP1 21-2020. This is just to remind me that uh, uh, we were able to match three, uh, all three, and uh, um, took care of that. Um, in fact, you know the um, these um, CUO um, peaks are kind of wider, so that means it's the smaller particles, nanoparticles. Whereas this one, these are pretty big particles probably. We can measure the uh, flow width at half maxima. Uh, it's hard to measure for these. This one may be possible, but um, but you should be able to tell um, you know the Debye-Chara equation thing. Anyway, so exit that and uh, um, that's about it. That's pretty easy, right? And your data, okay, we're going to exit this. Uh, okay, we just say yes. It doesn't matter too much. So now, um, if you go to this uh, um, folder, it was 22, right? <laughs> Wrong date. Oh, I think I did not export the... Um, XY data. So I'm going to go over here. Didn't I save it? Yeah, this one. Okay. So I did export it. So move it over. And you want to call this uh, um, TXT. And they'll ask you, and then yes. And then you open this. So this is a two theta value, and then that's the um, intensity so it's sub since we subtracted the background we're going to have a little bit of negatives but they're basically zero so don't worry about that too much okay and uh, um, <coughs> you can take these things home and uh, plot it on using your computer but you can um, read into your excel file okay so that's it where is my...